All right, Diesel. Um, sorry. Uh, Dash Series Seven JE um, Instructions Section Nine. Uh, diesel Engine Figure Nine Sixty Three Local Lubrication Oil Pump Note. Um, no, no. Feel the drive gear is being replaced thoroughly. Clean with the tap to fill. Um, fit with the install with the key to torque the large drive gear, drive, large drive gear nut. Two thirty seven three hundred seventy five to four hundred pounds of tor um, tor torque. Um, tighten the foot lock screw with three thirty to three hundred thirty to thirty six pounds of torque. Clean gasket surface to give the new gasket where they needed to install the three and quarter inch of the ten inch lifting eye bolt with the oil pump the housing pump. Position the pump on the engine with the overhead crane. Tighten the high end tighten the pump of the discharge the pipe bolts to ensure the compression pipe coupling is signed. When the pipes are aligned with the tighten the mounting of the bolts with ninety pounds of torque of bolts over the of the, are, are dry and seventy pounds of torque of the bolts are lubricated. Clean the oil drain valve the fill of the crankcase at the proper level before starting the engine. After starting with the engine, check the oil loop oil pump for overheating unusual noises. Power assembly removal. The power assembly consists of the complete cylinder piston, piston rings, connection rods, and bearings. Cylinders may be removed either without, with or without their respective pinions, pistons, or connection rods, depending on the nature of the work. With the reef of warm cooling, water must be drained before the cylinder removed. Cylinder removal lube oil should be drained with extensive of the work to be work, um, performed in the guard against contamination of the oil. Note, when removing the cylinder, only install the new piston ring, see piston rings section. Remove cylinder proceed as follows. Disconnect remove the following parts from the cylinder. Cylinder cover the full, full, full fuel header line with the flexible hose couplings. Cap the lines and pump the inlet connection to the pump um, to keep out the dirt out. Water inlet discharge headers and loosen the compression coupling with the remove of the bolts from the flange. Is remove the upper water connection and compression elbow. Figure 964, upper cylinder details. 1. The high pressure line. 2. The fuel injection pump. 3. The fuel head liner. 4. The fuel injection nozzle. Hold down clamp. 5. The clamp bar when the thread and T-handle. 6. The cylinder cup. 7. The pump rack. Exhaust manifold at the cylinder flange. A, D, E, and after intake of manifold, uncouple the clamping ring for the swing with the slipping them in the tube section 3 of the intake manifold section. At fuel rate. Fuel rack vertical, remove the self locking nut and bolt with the upper fuel linkage lever to the bearing. Two, bar, bar, bar over the crankshaft until the piston and the cylinder head is to be removed with its near the top dead center with all the valves closed. Three, remove the short crossover to push rod, then the two vertical push rods the upper, use the upper rocker arm to press the part to rotate the rocker arms from the necessary clearance. Do not bend with the push rod by excessive prying or force the fuel pump push rod assembly will be removed from the cylinder. Remove the four cylinder bolts used for the power wrench arrangement of the part as shown in figure 965 or in Impact wrench part, um, one forty-seven to sixteen eighty-four. Caution: If you should necessary, be, and if it should, be, if it, ne it should be necessary to apply heat to the bolt head to facilitate removal, um, replace the bolt and because the head ch heat changes the tensile strength of the bolt. Section nine sixty-five air-driven wrenches arrangement cylinder mounting bolts. Figure one: regulating valve gauge. Two: the oiler. Three: the air wrench. Four: the extension with the socket. And five: the reaction frame. Section view: figure um, nine sixty-six view tool applied to the retaining piston. Cylinder, wrist and retainer part and piston skirt connection rod cylinder liner. Note if the connection rod and piston are removed with the cylinder assembly, proceed as follows to hold the piston assembly in the cylinder, apply the piston retainer part as shown in figure 966. If the articulated rod is to be removed, remove the articulated pin bolt. 3. If the master rod is to be moved, disconnect the articulated rod, move the master rod bearing cap, push the articulated rod piston up the cylinder, secure the rod wire, and provide with the working room. Use the rod shank pad. Part 147.X1828 on the master rod to avoid damage to the other parts during the removal. Attach the cylinder lift on part 147.16X1606 uh, over the water discharge opening with the back of the cylinder shown in figure 967. Use the um, only the high strength bolts applied with the lifting tool. Be sure that they are tight. 6. After making sure the cylinder has been completely disconnected, carefully lift the cylinder, getting it to the during the removal. If the piston connection rod are not removed with the cylinder, open the cylinder compression release plug to protect the piston from damage, which would cause, be caused by the failing, falling or scuffing against the engine frame as the cylinder is lifted out. Apply the piston guide part 147X1. 0911 to protect the guide of the piston when the crankshaft is rotated with the cylinders removed. Figure 967 cylinder lifting tool applied for the angularity uh, of the lift, eye of the vertical lift. With caution, the pistons are rather not properly supported with the cylinder removed with a certain piston with the crankshaft articulated connection with the rods cannot be damaged to the articulation pin bushings. No, if the desire with the cylinder removed with the piston may be detached or removed with the while the rod is remains and then the engine power assembly installation. When the cylinder assembly is removed, the engine on the O-ring with the crosshead guide with it should be renewed. See, crosshead and guide section 9. Cylinder may be installed with either the piston connection rod assembly with a separately with the general 
normal proce procedure with the same in either case the proceed as follows make sure the piston and rings are in good condition see the piston section caution do not use the chrome rings on the chrome liner uh, with chrome liners do not use the iron rings with the top red liners refer to the renewal parts of the, um, the catalog with the proper ring and liner combinations to um, properly stagger the rings in the gap the around, around the piston described in piston instruction cool coat the piston with the liberal quantity of clean oil lube engine lube oil apply with the ring compressor the part 147x1 1089. Back out of the fourth valve, tap of the adjusting screw, provided the maximum clearance between the tap of the button and the valve stem. The adjusting the fuel pump, tap of the rod is to the minimum length. Lubricate the lube plate with the spray lube A part 147X 1614 and apply with the new rubber O rings with the radius of low cylinder extension with the valve push rod ferrules and fuel pump push rod guides. 5. If the piston and the rod assembly is an engine, remove the piston guy, guy with the part and insert the piston support bar with the part and figure 921 under the position. Come across the frame op opening with the turn of the crankshaft of the piston and the position of the piston firmly against the support bar and install the two guy pins part 147X1367 and the, um, the diagonal opposite for the holding down bolts lift in cylinder 22 and a half degree angle to use the cylinder lift part 147X1606. Carefully lower it over the position where the ring compressor will be pushed down and can be removed with the, uh, after the drops free from the bottom of the ring then turn the crankshaft array for the piston sufficiently to remove the support bar lower the cylinder into place no if the piston rod in assembly is to be installed at the same time as the cylinder the piston may be held with the cylinder by you for the piston retainer shown in figure 966 install left bank of the cylinder with the master rod followed by this right bank cylinders with the articulated rods use suitable protection for the, for the master rod to avoid the damage for the other parts complete with the installation connection rod specified with the connection with the rod instructions Coat the cylinder mounting bolts with a thread and wash it with the luber plate with 630A grease part 147X2163. Install the bolts finger tight. Tighten the cylinder mounting bolts evenly with the 1300 to 1400 pound of torque. Um, connect the air intake exhaust manifold with the water head with the, the new gasket. Install the connecting fuel headliner, headliners. Connect the injection pump vertical link with the check of the pump rack, rack travel to describe the fuel pump rack. Setting instructions adjusting the necessary. Inserting the push rods to obtain sufficient clearance for the install of the push rod. The vent, each of the uh, valve, each valve of the crosshead roller must ha uh, be off of the high, um, half a high portion of the cam. While the roller is on the back circle of the cam, proceed its valves. Insert the vertical push rod within the sockets and the crosshead. There, install the sh sh short crossover push rod. Rotate the rack arm. Use the rack arm depressor part one forty seven zero X forty T um nine sixteen uh, figure nine sixty eight. Use the push rods can be inserted with the respect of the rack arm sockets. So, figure 968 shows the depressing valve spring with the rack arm depressor tool. Adjusting tap rate clearance with the pumping um, pumping time. The valve tap the clearance valve pumping time can be both done, but the same position with the piston cylinder fuel injection pump rack must also be set. See the fuel pump rack set. Setting fuel pump timing and valve tap the clearance and under the adjustment seconds. Piston rings, piston rings, wear of the ring wear with the result of the manufacturer, some of the which is follows type of the surface of the terrain, effective of the engine and of the air filter maintenance, type of fuel and lube oil. We use the degree of lube oil control and finally quality of the engine maintenance. Because of these factors, it is impossible to coordinate with the rate wear of the ring wear with the, with the engine over operating of time with the locomotive of miles of travel under all conditions. Therefore, the best economy of the rate wing wear, thus the ring renewal periods can be determined best after the period of service under the actual operation conditions. For the most efficient operation, the best economy of the recommended with the piston rings removed for the engine, but for any reason to scarf the new rings apply with apply the um, sticking rings and the rings which show scuffing, burning, or other abnormal conditions must be renewed regardless of the wear. Also, at the time of the cylinder to change out with the piston should be renewed. Caution cylinder scoring and serve here, um, shortening of the ring and linear life will result with the chrome rings or we use the chrome liners and iron rings for the tough red liners. Refer to the renewal part catalog for the proper ring with the liner combination 970. Rings may be renewed, but after the cylinders are taken off without removing the piston from the engine when or on the near the top of the engine, the piston extends above the engine mainframe. So the new rings proceed as follows. After the old rings are removed, clean the rings group and ensure the full ring side clearance of the ring scraper of the part tool, part 147X1098. Um, figure 969 should be used to clean the carbon from the ring group. The caution care must be exercised when, remo when removing the carbon so that the rings do not become damaged. Figure 969, clean piston rings group with a scraper of the part 147X1098. And ensure the foreign materials do not enter the crankcase dirt cleaning materials. The groove cleaning can be seriously damaged to the bearings of other internal parts. Two, when instant, only rings also use the ring expanded with the tool part 147X1098 to prevent da permanent distortion of the rings. Install the oil ring ring first. Assemble the expanding ring with the ring groove and place the scraping edge down over the expander. 
Figure 970, piston ring arrangement. The from the chrome related pin, pin liner, from for chrome plated um, chrome plated liner, steel crown filled groove compression ring, straight compression ring, oil control ring, aluminum skirt. For tough ridged liner, steel crown chromium plated compression rings, tapered compression rings, oil control oil ring, control ring, and aluminum skirt. Okay, um, in the spring within this groove of the piston of the oil ring and with the gap of the 180 degrees expanding the skip sl slip spring joint, install with the compression ring that is indicated that their markings. The rings not marked and they be installed with each either side up. Five well, sure all the rings are fit for you. Lay up the grooves in all positions around the piston with a staggered end with the gaps, um, gaps adjacent with approximately 90 degrees for the two, no two line and no two in line. Figure 971 piston support bar under the um, piston. Piston. Um, to remove the place the piston necessary to remove the cylinder assembly first for the see the power assembly removal the section with the cylinder board should be inspected for the scoring the sets of the wear, particularly with the ring wear reversal area. To determine the suitable reuse of the new piston, proceed to solve the replace the piston. When the piston near the top of the time lift the cylinder assembly partly with the off of the piston and some apply the piston support part one forty seven X nine ninety nine when the piston reset, rest the piston support with the uh, bar on the mainframe bar with the engine back until the piston resets with the cradle with the piston support bar, figure 971. Lift the cylinder completely off the engine. Figure 972, loosen the piston bolts. So use the piston bolt wrench for the part 147X to 1841 and a piston bolt socket part 147X to using a three-quarter inch drive ratchet, drive, drive ratchet to loosen the position piston pin bolt. Carefully remove the new piston, save the piston from the reuse of the new, um, new piston. Coat. Insulation. Coat the pin liberally with a clean loop oil. Install with the install with the pin guide with the pin into one threaded oil with the piston pin guide pin may be purchased as part 147X1326 or may be made with the piston bolt with the head cut off at the end of the bolt nose figure. 973. 973 piston guide pin show the 7 of an inch in diameter, 7 of an inch um, um, 14 threads, all dimensions in inches, 5 inches, 2 and 3 eighths of an inch, and 1 and a half inch per, per foot um, uh, material steel piston um, pin guide pin. Lower the piston with a piston pin with a guide pin with a place and one connection allowing the guide pin to enter one of the piston pin, pin bolt holes in the connection rod coat. Three coat the threads with washer fast face with the piston pin with the molly coat part GN part 147X1143-1. Install with the piston bolt with a space with the other piston pin bolt with a um, hole with the finger tight and remove the guide pin with the first bolt with a hole. Install the remaining pin bolt with the space or even the torque wrench with the piston pin bolt wrench. Torque, the, uh, torque the tighten the piston with the bolts so even with the increments of 100 to 125 pounds of foot with 100 foot pounds of torque, then loosen them, retighten them, and even them with the increments of final torque with a value of 200 foot pounds of torque. Correct, unless the pin bolt spacer is installed correctly, and the um, flat surface of the bolt head convex surface can be gave the set, set seat the rod of the bolt on which the spacer is incorrectly installed may come out with a result a result in failure to the second bolt. This will cover the series damage to engine main frame and other components. Install the new piston rings youth part 147-1099 ring the expander with its nine figure nine seventy four stagger the ring end of the gap. Adjacent of the rings approximately 90 degrees apart with a no, no two line, refer to the two pistons ring section, support the piston with the support bar with the coat of the piston with the clean loop oil, apply with the ring compressor, part 147 to X 1090, 1089, part figure 975, figure 974, applying the rings to the ring expander tool. Figure um, 975 of flying ring compressor. Load the cylinder assembly piston until the ring enters the liner. Remove the ring compressor piston support bar. Lower the cylinder into place. 7. Secure the cylinder assembly. Reassemble all the components. Refer to the power assembly insulation section. Caution. Cylinder scoring severe shortening of the ring of the liner. Life will result with the chrome rings. You for the chrome liners and iron ring for the tough rave liners. Refer to the renewal part catalog for the proper ring and linear combination. See figure 976. Camshaft section and bearings. Two sectionalized camshaft, one part of the one mounted on each side of the end of the frame, driven with the gear directly from the crankshaft of the mouth. The crankshaft will rotate the same direction opposite of the crankshaft rotation, one half of the crankshaft spe speed. The sectionalized cramshaft is made with an individual precision um, machine section with the fastened together with the red dial with the nuts. See figure 979 and, and 980. The intake of the fuel exhaust cams are integral of par parts of each of the hollow section of the journal and the uh, cam. The sections are treated with the provided with the hardware surface of the section containing the cam stand with the letter L. L for left and R for right. With the edge of the floor with flange being identified the location with the respect of the right banks for the edge of the edge of the other flange is stamped on the number table 9-4, which are used to... 
Properly the length of the section in position with the shaft with respect to the considerable line is the section is interchangeable with respect to the can shaft, but because of the reversal but between the inlet and exhaust cam, they are not interchangeable between the left and the right bank sh cam shaft. A subsection is located at the drive end. Each of the cam shaft, the universal piece may be to be assembled the proper index to either left or right bank cam shaft. Figure nine, um, seventy six piston ring arrangement, fuel chrome plated li li liner, steel steel crown uh, filled groove compression ring, straight compression ring, oil control room, aluminum skirt marked up from or top. Um, tough ride leather, steel chrome, chrome steel chrome, uh, steel crown chrome, um, plated compression rings, uh, tapered compression rings, oil control ring, aluminum skirt. Table four nine, table nine four, camshaft marking, cylinder, cylinder location, right left bank eight with a sixteen cylinder eight mo engine models, and right left bank seven three seven cylinder models. Um, cylinder left, right left bank six and six 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 in the cylinder and marking six in the cylinders and six in the twelve cylinder. Cylinder location right and left length 85, one and five one five and four five engine and sixteen twelve four. Um, Right and left banks, cylinder location 16, um, and four, four engine metal, four, 16 camshaft markings, four markings, four and over five markings in the 12 cylinder, and four and the eight cylinder, three. Cylinder right low for location 16, uh, 16 cylinder three seven um, and 16 cylinder three and the 12 cylinder and three and the eight cylinder. Cylinder location right left blank second um, 16 cylinder two um, 12 cylinder one over two and the eight and cylinder two one cylinder right and left bank one over five and the 16 cylinder um, one over two and the 12 cylinder and one and the eight cylinder. When assembling with a complete camshaft with a replace, the section of each for the camshaft of the section must be properly indexed with the perspective of the location within the shaft of the beginning with the drive in with the shaft of the line with the numeral. Last cylinder, 8, 6, and 4 with the proper of the bank, letter of the L, or right of the subsection with the bottom bolt together, rotate the shaft of the bank with the um, letter of the section plane, plane visible with the line of the numeral with the next cylinder with the sex 7 marked E, shown 3, 7 with the figure 9, 77. Um, next with the bank letter, bolt the section with the read with the 1, proceed with the next section with the like of the man with the re unit, the free end with the engine reach for the de table 9 for the proper numerical markings. Figure 9, 77, the detailed second sectionalized cam. The 16 cylinder, 3 left, 3, 7, um, left, the 12 cylinder left four five one eight cylinder one three one cam shaft check the number eight section on the left bank of the 12 16 cylinder are shown bearing oil bearing oil holes intake can intake cam ex fuel cam exhaust cam and the universal stub shaft on the a 16 12 and 18 cylinders Covered bolt on over the end of the free end of the camshaft section, closed with the central oil pass with the shaft support bearing. Remove the aluminum oil split bearings to support each of the shaft with the range for the frame with the line board um, board bearing. With the bearings that are held in place with the bolts extend for the outside of the engine frame with the tap holes and the bearing of the tap hole for the reinforced with the helical steel threads insert of the two bearings half of the line with the hole of steel with the diesel dowels holding together the bolts threaded into the steel thread insert with the two bearings half that are mar 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 match marked with the numerals that always should always be installed on the set. But the bearings are removed with the end from the engine from the inspection replacement of the distribution of the camshaft. Thrust bearing. The thrust bearing, the thrust bearing assembly is located with the drive gear within the each for the camshaft that controls the longitudinal shaft of the movement of the thrust. See the steel thrust ring position for the dial located between the camshaft and the flange for the drive gear with a semicircular groove bearing with a bolt over the engine frame fitted with the over the thrust ring to restrict the longitudinal figure travel figure 979. 978 camshaft bearing assembly bearing numeral match marks hollow dowel flat washer bearing assembly bolt and bolt bearing mounting bolts. Figure 979 camshaft drive and thrust bearing assembly. Gear mounting bolts, the drive gear, the thrust ring, and the thrust bearing, the ununiversal sub shaft. By um, properly positioning the drive gear, the thrust bearing bolts may be removed through the hole in the gear with the webs of the move of the drive gear. Drive gear, the drive gear, the thrust of the rings are bolted together. The camshaft and flange, any drive, and camshaft the drive flange is indexed with the dowel with the hub that each of the gear correctly positioned with the timing dots on the gear with the respect of the camshaft. The timing dots are located on the side of the gear rim facing the generator end of the uh, generator end of the d engine. Move the camshaft in the rearing. The inspect with the new camshaft bearings proceed as follows. Move the crankcase inspection cover and bearing the mounting bolt with the extend through the side of the engine frame. If more wooden bearings should be removed, the plate for the wooden blocks under the camshaft to support it after the first bearing has been removed. All the bearings are being removed. Move the center bearing first and move to work towards the both ends. Carefully tap the bearing with the board then with a soft hammer. Remove the bearing assembly bolt with a separate with a half to remain, remove the bearing from the shaft. 
Caution, do not pry the bearing halves apart when the zapper removes the bearing of the assembly bolt. While the last thread, a few threads are still engaged, lightly tap each bolt in the head to separate the bearing half. Do install the bearing and reverse that bolt. The procedure you with the new and stay O seal with the washer with the bearing mounting bolt. The lubricated bolts I with the state O seal lubricated with the torque being assembly with the bolt with the 35 to 40 foot pound. The torque torque being mounted bolts of the 40 45 pound torque. Note that co cleaning of the engine crankcase oil on the bearing of its bore will make, make bearing insulation easier. Remove the camshaft, remove the and Renew the single section of the camps that proceed as valves. Compress the valve string, release the valve, push rods from the M sockets valve. The cylinders in the bank of the engine with a camshaft section to remove the use of the rock arm depressor part 147X1040. One, lift the valve with the frost, frost, fuel crosshead. All cylinders in the bank lock them. We use the lock pin to insert the, and then through the hole in the crosshead guide to the reason raise the fuel crosshead against the pumping spring with the pressure force the hardware and the fiber wedge between the roller cam. Three, bar over the engine until the index mark for the flange of the cam section to be removed the visible crankshaft and crankshaft crankcase inspection opening. Four, remove the mounting bolts from the two cap of the bearing of the adjacent of the section with the be replaced, then carefully push the bearings out of the bores in the frame. Loosen the bearing assembly bolt that will separate the bearing half of the youth that cannot be damaged. The bearing of the bearings half that can be separated by not completely removing the bolts, then tapping lightly on the head of the bolts of the bearings that have been separated with a hollow dial. Remove the four knob of the camshaft section flange that's over the driving end of the camshaft to use the fiber bar placed against the cam end of the engine frame. Separate the section, push the free end of the shaft towards the free end of the engine until the engine opening with the bolts of flame. Both the flange and approximately equally width of the cam roller. Figure 980 shows the cam shaft assembly new style high strength dial of nuts. Um, the left eight, the figure left eight cam shaft section assembly marking by the high strength dial X stamped on the egg and the end. High strength nuts, canots, and corners of the universal stub shaft. But the remove the removing, remaining four of the nuts attached for the cam section. Remove the section through the inspection opening. Install the new section with the reverse and above the above the sequence above the index marking with the previously described. Use special care to keep the flange pile with the clean of the free of the earth. Tighten cam shaft the dial. Put no over the 80 to 90 pound put pound of the torque of the older shaft dial for the nuts. Must be assembled with the current production of the dial. The new, should be located, lubricated with the dial threads of the nut face for the Molly code the GN torque under the same value of figure 980. Never find new style or dial nut. Nuts. Not after replacing the section, any of the section removed the lock pins with all the cross edges replaced for the push rod, reset all the valve clearances, and eight D, D check the timing with all the fuel pumps. All right. Um, connection rod removal. Since the cylinder assembly must be removed before the master articulated rod can be replaced, it is recommended the cylinder piston rod be removed. The complete power assembly. Refer to the power assembly. Remove the section from the general procedure. Remove the rod and proceed as follows. To remove the either the rod requires the articulated rod to be disconnected. Remove the articulated rod and pin bolts using part 175. Sorry, 147 X 14 58 1 with a wrench part 147 X 18 23 torque wrench. In install the art rod pin and pin retainers to the hole of the art rod pin in place until the rod is reassembled. The figure. 982. In the master connection rod, remove the loosen the connection rod cap with the back of them off, the level, leaving several threads of the engage. Use the ratcheting torque wrench with part 147X823 and 1 8 of an inch socket, part 147X1866. See figure 18.3. Tap of the cap the, tap of the cap sideways with a heavy brass bar with the cap will drop of the bolt head. Remove the bolts with the cap. Remove the power assembly as described in power assembly removal section. If the out rod is being removed with the bare bar, the engine over the out rod with the topmost position block will be otherwise secure in this position. All right, figure X, um, figure camshaft drive assembly shows the, uh, let's start at the bottom, section AA, left bank, in in intake cam, fuel cam, exhaust cam, um, camshaft, support bar, thrust bearing, drive gear, thr thrust bearing, mounting girl, and drive gear, mounting bolt, open generator and thrust ring, D and cylinder, and camshaft, sectional cam section. section. In section DD, sectional view of the camshaft, the split camshaft of the bearing, bearing assembly, split state, Stato steel washer bearing mounting bolt engine frame. All right, both timing dials of the gear face must show the outside engine of the frame of the match for the crankshaft of the gear. The driver of the gear is aligned with also apply with the left bank of the gear. All right, you have the drive gear A and left bank of the A rotation, um, right bank B drive gear engine frame. Um, frame um, the rotation of the frame and the crankshaft. Uh, assemble the gear for the two for the mark with the on the camshaft. The gear the engage between the two teeth of the mark on the D on the uh, D shaft of the camshaft. The key of the O is on the tooth today for the both and the engine when the number one cylinder right bank is on the top side and firing. All right, then on the section BB, you see the generator and driving mounting gear mounting bolt, thrust bearing mounting bolt, the driver gear thrust bearing, cross headed guys, cross headed O ring, um, camshaft section, exhaust fuel cam intake. Cam um, supporting bearing, thr thrust bearing, and then you have the um, camshaft bearing end covering and the engine frame. 
Caution, protect the rod journal with the protective pad with the part 147 x 1827 with the journal exposed. Separate the piston with the rod assembly with the cylinder assembly with the rod assembly um, in the piston. Secure with the rod holding with the fixture 147 x 1651-X1651. Remove the connection with the, from the piston pin. With the, remove the piston pin bolt from with the wrench part 147-X1499. Lubricate the lu installation. Lubricate the face washer for, um, face with the piston bolt for the Molly code GM with the rod circuit secure with the rod holding fixture part 147-X1651. Assemble the Piston the pins within the the rod bolts with the space for the tighten the piston pins bolt evenly increments of 100 to 125 pounds of torque to 405 pounds of torque. I'm then loosen the bolts and retighten the final torques with 250 pounds of torque. Figure nine eight and figure nine eighty two art rod and pin retainer part one forty seven x fourteen seventy four art rod and pin retainer a caution unless the piston bolt the bolt bolts are spaced they install correctly flat surface of the bolt head with the convex surface of the concave seat with the rod bolts may lose some result in the serious damage of the main frame and the other engine components. All right, figure 983, um, tightening the connection rods and the cap bolts. Figure 984, protective pad on the rod journal. To renew the piston ring with the piston ring section, clean the board with the rod rod cap with the assembly of the bearing shell with the coat with the threads and wash the face with the cap bolts of Molly Coat GM. The assembly of the cap with the rod of the torque with the cap nuts alternately increment to 100 to 125 pounds of torque to 400 to 420 pounds of torque. Then disassemble the rod cap to secure the upper bearing shell with the two bearing retainers of the part 147X1492. One caution. Um, coat the pistons with the ring for the bearing shell to be cleaned with the blue board with the compressor of the piston ring. You for the same um, ring um, compressor of the part 147X1089. Lower the cylinder. Assembly over the piston rod. Assembly bring the compressor with the fall off the screw of the piston rod. With the assembly with the cylinder with the piston retainer part 147X1406 with the one with the power assembly installation section. Lift the power assembly. Lower the piston with the rod journal. Remove the power tricks pad. Install the assembly with the art rod. Remove the power, art rod retainer through the art rod guide pin part 147X1122 with the one over the art rod pin bolts. Lower the art rod over the art rod pin figure 985. Coat the art with the rod pin poles of the master rod. Cap um, both of the Molly Coat GM threads and the washer faces. Figure um, 985 installing the art rod you can the pump part 147X1122 art rod guide pin. Caution. Unless art rod pin bolt spacer is installed correctly, uh, uh, the flat surface of the bolt head with the convex safe for the concave, uh, concave safe of the rod, the bolts may be loose and result with a serious damage for the main frame of the other engine components. After removing the two bearings retained with the sum of the rod cap with the tightening the master of the rod cap, the bolt alternately increments to 100 to 125 pounds of torque to 400 to 425 pounds of torque. Tighten the art rod pins appropriately, same increment of 400. 150 pounds of torque, loosen the art rod pin bolt three, tighten the final torque to 375 pounds of torque. The minimum bearing main bearing thrust collar, semi circular bearing shove forward the crankshaft within the engine. They're secured with the main bearings, which are bolted in place for the bearing shell. If they are have a precision type of the receptacle without machining or space, each bearing shell have the steel back and steel back with the support with the two or more layers and carefully formulated bearing material. Figure 986, upper piston and lower bearing shaft. The two loop, um, show the groove lower than the lower shell, the two locating tabs, the one locating tab, and the groove upper shell. No series of locomotive inventions are equipped with the groove less than that main bearing shell in the lower position, and the groove main, ba bearing, main bearing shell in the upper position. If the it, um, bearing half of the old groove that contains one of the location tab, the, 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 no locate the current position, the groove the less, lo lose, the groove less being half, uh, being half contains two locations from the tabs, preventing the inverted ins installation of the upper position. See figure 986. Caution under no circumstances should the groove list be with the install of the upper position with all the out the all the oil out of the drain block for that the groove that's bearing for the engine can be except, expected to fail in only a few revelations of the crankshaft. Inspection lower main bearings can be inspe inspected with the dropping of the cap nut for the cap just as far enough to the view of the bearing of the surface complete with the removing of the nuts it is not necessary with the upper bearing the half of the however they can only be inspected with the removing of the bearing of the uh, cap with the thereby rolling the upper bearing with the half of the position with the remove of the roll and locating the tab to come out first. Bearing shall be replaced in the one third of the bearing that is worn down with the brown's colored copper lid matrix for the good prim practice to inspect the bearings and jason the worn bearing also. Removal to note that the removal uh, referred to the locomotive maintenance tool GE GEG fourteen seven hundred um, for specialized tools available to perform in this operation, remove the main bearing. Use the following procedure for loosening the cap nut for the two or three turns. Remove the bearing cap side bolts for the loosening the side of the bolts of the adjacent to the bearings. Note that to facilitate the removal of the cap from the frame, frame spread, um, spread the frame slightly by using the frame expanding the part 147x1314 mechanical one or 147x1742 hydraulic. Low. 
Um, loosening the bearing cap of the tapping down with that tail that hammer with the brass drifter of the move of the nuts from the cap of the can hang with the lower half of the shell, keep the firm grip uh, grip on the bearing cap that as it is heavy, usually and usually the upper half of the shell can be rolled out with the hand, but however they may be necessary to apply the bearing. Barring over tool with the engine, the removal of the tool with the part 147X 1342 with the crankshaft will hold the rotate the crankshaft roll over the shell out, out of the proper direction of the lab. Um, Lucking tab rolls out, but they know it not. And to the handling of the bearing shaft, the care, bearing shells carefully so they do not damage in any way. Insulation. Inspect the crankshaft, the journal with the insure with the good in condition. Clean the surface of the crankshaft journal with the main bearing, bearing from main frame with the bearing shell within the bearing cap. Coat the journal and the inner bearing the surface with a clean the engine loop. Oil. Roll upper groove, then bearing shield, shell them to play for the devoid of the damage of bearing insurance with the lock tab with the properly seated, set the lowering shell with the bearing cap, the five position the bearing cap of the dial with the ply with the cap nose on the side, bolting finger tight, five, tight with a new O brings bearing cap with the side bolts and apply the looper plate special um, spray A, the GE part 147X1614 with the O rings with the washer face with the thread for the bolts. Also apply Molly Coat G and GE part 147X1143 one or lubricate the threads for the contact face for the side bolt nuts for the either lubrication and the acceptable level. For the torque will require for the youth of the Molly Cove to the achieve the stretch value of the side bolts. Tighten the side bolts with approximately 75 foot pounds of torque. Tighten the bearing cap to achieve the correct stretch, the, um, stretch value for the youth of the stretch gauge. Part 147 and X to 8, 18, 16. With an 8 cylinder stretch, the stretch is 25,000 to 27,000. With an inch or 12, 16 cylinder stretch, the stretch is 27,000 to 33,000. With an inch of torque bolts, side bolts to 260 to 275 pounds of torque. Thrust collar, two half of the ring of the thrust collar fitted with the engine of the frame with the second main bearing the, uh, from the generator and controlling the actual thrust for the crankshaft of the collars are loosely fitted with the and are held with the plate for the main bearing cap of the crankshaft each of the thrust collar with a mark for the outer edge of the receiver with the number of the mechanical lug with the drawing number of the power. The collars are solid bronze with the head of the lead tan and lead, head lead tin plate of the thrust bearing with the surface of the thin lead of the plate overall. All over the bearing um, face with the collar to be identified with the radial oil the groove that installed with the side of the collar containing the oil grooves must be faced with the crankshaft to determine the renewal of the thrust console and count collars the necessary for the crankshaft throttle clearance should be measured with the seat of the crankshaft end play with the check section. Caution consult with the renewal parts of the catalog for the correct thrust collar and be numbered um, part number. The thrust collar must be replaced with the, as, as follows. Remove the main bearing cap with the remaining thrust collars. Roll the thrust collars out with the fits in the web. Um, three, figure 987. Coat the new thrust collars with the clean lube oil install the Making sure oil groups from the crank, um, face of the crankshaft. Figure 987. Install the thrust um, collars. Bearing lock tab, the bearing cap, dowel pin, main cap stud, main bearing, side bolt hole, and half ring thrust collar. Figure 988. Connection rod bearing shells. The locating tab, oil groove. The check the thrust clearance. Install the main bearing um, cap. Connecting the rod bearing, the the rod bearing shelf with its own figure 988 with the precision type of the pre replaceable with the one machine with the great things constructed for the solid seal of the act with the plate with the running surface of the specially formulated bearing metals. Each shell has location of the location of the tab with the properly located the screw of the in position for the rod with the cap of the shell that may be applied with the either position. And as the shells are interchangeable, each of the bearing is stamped along with the radial edge with the serial number of the part with the, and a catalog number. The caution locating of the tab of the slot with each one side of the rod with the rod cap. The tab on the shelf must be positioned on the slot that will be crushed in the case of the bearing. Bearing failure with possibly further further serious, further serious damage. Connection rod bearings may be replaced with the remove of the connection rod from the engine bearing that replaces the file with the bar engine with the position with the journal near the topmost position. Loosen the back cap bolts with the shovel turns one eighth of an inch on the socket part 147x1866, the ratchet torque part um, wrench part 147x1823, see figure 983. Or right, tap the bearing cap the side with the heavy brass bar with the cap will separate um, the from the journal remove the nuts and caps. Um, four block the otherwise secure with the position piston and the rod in the upper position and with the bar with the engine over the gear with the um, get the journal out of the way. You put the wood and fiber back block drift the tap of the bearing shelves out of the fit six clean the bearing shelf of the fit with the make sure that there is no high spot for the flat how off the high spot for the split line rod cap is thrown off the any of the hot spots on the back of the bearing shelf do not lubricate with the, between the rod boring with the bearing shelf. Very ver verify the lock tap of the shell properly positioned. Tap shelf them to play with the wood and the fiber drift. Do not use any metal object as drift. Lubricate the end of the lubricate the job journal rod journal with a clean loop and then with the bar the engine piston position rod journal cap um, journal, journal up to the closed rod in the lower position rod assembly onto the journal coat. The threads of the washer face of the cap both the Molly Coat G port 147X1143 one tighten the bolts and crimp them to 100 to 125 pounds of torque for 400 and 420 pounds of torque. Crosshead and guides. Crosshead assemblies are mounted with the engine frame with under each of the cylinder of the crosshead to transmit the reciprocating force for the cams to push the rod to operate the valve with the push fuel injection on each cylinder. Figure 989. Figure 989 cylinder location crosshead. The valve crosshead push 
position as well. Um, fuel drainage passions, the fuel injection pump crosshead, cylinder mounting bolt threaded insert with the core plug and the older main frames only. Figure 990, valve crowd has head guide, guide assembly. The assembly of the air exhaust valves are likely to consist of a new major part of the crosshead with a hardened roller guide with the crosshead figure 990. The parts of the fuel hard crosshead assembly are similar to the appearance of the down interchangeable by those of the valve of the crowd. Fuel crosshead consists of the fueling main parts. A guide spring, spring container, spring crosshead with the fuel crosshead assembly will, um, when they install with the engine with the ring load with the insert with the crosshead with the roller with the run smoothly with the lube of the camshaft figure 991. Figure 991 spring loaded fluid fuel crosshead guide assembly. Dial O ring crosshead guide locking pin hole spring retainer spring crosshead roller pin and piston pin. Valve of the crosshead guide. Valve of the crosshead guides are identical with the interchange the visual position into the um, board of the main frame with the dial pin for the held down with the flange of the cylinder above them. The O ring around each of the guide with the near the opening of the forms of the oil seal between the guide with the frame board with another O ring with the form of the seal between the cylinder base with the crosshead guide with the fuel crosshead guide with the fuel crosshead guides are positioned and sealed in the same manner with the valve crosshead guide. The difference for those with the valves having wider roller guide sliding with the accommodated wide roller large crosshead or guide locking pin hole with a different machining arrangement on the inside of the diamond are properly positioned the spring retainer. Valve crosshead. Two designs for the crosshead have been used in the airport part 124X1033-4, usually early in 1978, with the crosshead hardening pushed the rod bearing at the upper end of the hardening cab the roller operating on the free-floating the steel brush at the lower end. Part 124X1068, using starting early 1978, this crosshead used the hardened push rod bearing at the upper end of the cam, or in the cam roller operating on the print bronze pin on the lower end. Both crosshead interchangeable is complete with the assembly can be either in the air exhaust position, drill the oil pass with the crosshead with the crosshead gap with the angle of groove with the round with the crosshead permit the intermittent oil flow upward through the each of the valve push rod lubricating upper cylinder parts. Our fuel crosshead. Fuel crosshead are similar in appearance but the down interchangeable with the valve of the crosshead the range with the different oil pass with the can be identified with the flat tap of the rod with the bearing and insert with the, with the upper end of the fuel crosshead with the wire cam roll with the held in place with the large roller pin with the piston pin figure 991. Removal of the insulation. After the cylinder has been removed, the cross end of the assembly with a piston dial pin, but it can be pushed upward and removed to lock the valve of the cross end into the guide bending with a piece of the one sixteenth of the inch iron wire about one inch long went into the L shape to push the cross end open up into the guide with the insert of the lock wire with the, through the one eighth of an inch lock hole through the guide po bore outward. Then the wire must not protrude to beyond the guide, with the, it will interfere with the, during the guide with the removal the using the same procedure with the locking, look, locking the fuel cross with this guide with the use of the valve cross head, but with it using a three sixteenth of an inch wire and one quarter inch guide lock. Hole. The crosshead gap of the boot must be, may be renewed without completely removing the cylinder when the piston at the top of the dead center disconnects the cylinder lifted just high enough to permit the removal of the crosshead assembly, but not high enough to disengage the piston ring from the cylinder bore and submerge the crosshead's SAE 10 lubricating oil five minutes, then install the new crosshead assembly lubricating applied with the steel oil ring piston assembly, insert the dial and apply the new oil ring with the push rod ferrules to restore the cylinder piston to the main reconnection. Note, you have the care when handling the crosshead of the guide, the bars, um, birds may be formed with the edge of the guide with the board with the crosshead with the drop of the guide with the big guide inverted. The Got inverted. Um, bar burrs may be re renewed to prevent binding with the crosshead during the operation. Also, cause uh, in case of the push rod failure, the crosshead will probably stuck on the guide, but it should be carefully inspected with the damage. All right, the rubber bonded pump drive coupling. The pump drive coupling assembly, um, pump drive gear assembly is mounted on the camshaft that you for the transmit the torque needed to drive the water with the lube oil pump the, from the camshaft to the pump idler gear. The assembly consists of the following for these parts of the figure 992 with the gear hub, the gear ring, the gear coupling. Um, gear 9992, typical of the pump drive gear assembly. Mounting bolts, camshaft, gear coupling, gear ring, gear hub. The gear coupling is made of the two basic parts of the clamp of the ring, uh, ring and the coupling, which are to both um, put together with the press of the fitting of the coupling and the inner flange outer sleeve held together with the bonded resilient material figure 993 coupling replacement note the game of the active for the coupling of the first nest for the drive of the hub with the guard for the remove the from the front end of the engine is off the nest remove the lube oil fill assembly with the left side of the forward end of the cover to remove the bearing from the front end of the forward end of the cover starting with the um, crankshaft free end of the coupling hub mounting bolt washer and clamp ring the coupling gear mounting bolt washer the match marks the hump drive gear the outer sleeve the bounded material and inner flange this opening of the round with the crankshaft created with the remove of the, removing the bearing of the remove of the bolts and washer holding the coupling with the, to the gear, remove the bolts and washer holding the coupling to the hub, remove the defective coupling and install the new coupling to secure the hub and the gear with the bolt. Washer tighten the bolts to 44 to 49 pounds, foot pounds of torque. Um, note that it must be necessary for the bar over the engine to rotate the gear with the, to achieve the bolt hole alignment with the alignment of the match marks and number of the back face for the hub gear with the figure 90, 9094 and 9095. Replace the forward end of the bearing other than parts for the remove of the forward end of the engine loop oil fill, fill assembly. Overspeed derator link for the remove of the engine shutdown 
Um, figure 994, the slide view of the pump drive of the gear assembly. Location over the matching marks numbers over the after 1974 and location of the matching marks after 1973. Figure 995, matching marks number, the numbers on the back of the frame side of the hub and the gear. The gear, the center hole, bolt, bolt of the hole in the hub, and um, disconnect the air and the oil line to the link of figure 996. Remove the cotter pins and the clever the pins with the connecting link of the control cover, the fuel contraction and control linkage. Remove the 90 degree fan fitting of the air and light with the top cover link. The install of the 90 degree fitting of the air and light at the top of the link with the position link. And install the clever spin with the connection of the link to the control governor with the fuel control link. So you should give the clever spin with the new cotter pins. Connect the air and oil line to the links. Shift the fuel injection pump the rack setting to make sure adjustments are required. See the fuel pump rack setting the adjustment section. Start the engine, check the proper operation link, but also check the in leakage at the hope of the connection for the inside damper of the outer casing. Figure 996, view of the overspeed uh, derator link is mounted on the engine. The governor power piston in the engine control cover the air in the, oil in the line, engine intake, air intake, overspeed cover the fuel control link is over to the derator link. Crankcase pressure um, switch. The, um, removal of the insulation. The crank the crank the crankcase pressure switch for the important with the protective device that should be immediately replaced if the defect is removed. Um, to remove the disconnect the electrical connect the remove the four mounting bolts from the lock washer with the install and the replace the new gasket mounting the flange to secure the four mounting bolts. Lock washer connect the um, the electrical connect the push the reset button with the ply with the wires and the seal. Overspeed governor remove the insulation. Remove the overspeed governor and disconnect the oil supply line drain line pressure line with the overspeed with cap overspeed link cap the link for the keep the dirt with remove the four mounting bolts with the governor straight out. Off the spine, remove the product of gaps with the replacement of the governor and the cap hole of the old governor with them. Clean off the old gasket material mount with the new governor with the new gasket material. Connect all the piping and put pushing and the reset button. Check the leaks after the engine is started. Figure 997 the engine crankcase pressure switch uh, mounted on the engine. Um, to indicate the trip light and the engine electrical contactor uh, connector reset button. The engine crankcase pressure switch camshaft gear driver. Figure 998, overspeed governor, overline, overspeed derator, link trip, adjust, adjust the speed, adjusting speed, screw the governor, drive, test point check, overspeed device, oil drain line, fuel, overspeed fuel, oil lines, overspeed governor, overspeed governor, tackle, meter drive cap, reset button, fuel control linkage. All right, figure 999, engine control governor. The engine control governor, the clevis of the cotter pin, the governor drive of the mounting nut, lock washer, water pipe, the manifold air pipe, the lube oil piping, the electrical connector. Engine control governor for the removal. The removal of the light hatch of the engine cap above the governor. Disconnect the electrical connector, plug with the governor. Remove the cotter pin with the power pin, piston with the clevis. Remove the clevis spin, disconnect with the governor, and a over speed link of the fuel linkage. Disconnect the air, oil, water line with the governor to cover the end of the, all the fittings. Remove the bounding fins, install 3 of inch eye bolt on the top of the cave to lift the governor straight out and from the spine of the gearbox and install the installation. Make sure the governor drive with the draft of the mounting of the surface of the claim with the new gasket on the mounting surface. Just hold the governor in, into the position on the gearbox line. The spin of the spine drive with the lowering of the governor into position. No force should be required to properly seat the governor. Three assemble the nuts and flock washers um, secure with the governor in position. Reconnect the overspeed link with the, with the piston tail rod. Make sure the linkage does not bind. Reconnect Connect all the external pipes and tightening fittings securely, and add oil to on the line with the side glass and not over the after of the engine. Run purge of the governor over the entrapped of the air. Then it may be necessary to add a little bit more oil to the inter internal chamber of the governor filled with the oil. Now overfill this is enough oil for the governor if visible in the side glass. Note: Refer to the governor instruction GE one eight one nine seven eight in the back shop manual for the purging procedure. Attach the electrical contact to adjust the racks and fuel pumps. See the fuel pump rack and setting the adjusting adjustment section. Exhaust manifold multiple pipes. The multiple pipe exhaust manifold is used on all locomotives equipped with an eight cylinder engine. The removal for the pipe section, remove the removal of the both lock washer hardening, the flat washer with the two cylinders. I have the turbo charger. Note when necessary, remove the good top of the pipe of the section with the gain uh, access to the little bad lower pipe section. Insulation before insulation pipe section with the engine with the brush off the bolt head to the three tap the all threads hold the all high temperature of the anti seat thread compound part 147 x 1640 all the threads and bolts and tap of the hole of the washer face of the bolt head you with the new gasket cap and cow coat the both gas skip face of the anti seat compound part 147 x 1640 and to apply the anti season compound the manner description to facilitate the future assembly apply the second piece pipe section in place and install all those finger tight use ball lock washers and cylinders connection with the use the bolt hard and flat and the hard and flat washers with the flange clamp the turbo charger C figure 9 on 100 and 9 104. 9100, multiple pipe exhaust arrangement. One, the turbocharger. Two, the bolt flange to the, to the turbocharger. Three, the cylinder. Four, the bolt to the flange to the cylinder. And five, the exhaust manifold section. 
Um, three, center the uh, all the exhaust panel full flange of the turbo charge between the two securing bolt for the two pin prick punch the bar part marks for the face for the turbo uh, turbine lane that flange they alternate the tightening of each of the bolt increments up to the final torque of the 120 to 105 pound torque loosening each bolt retighten the two torque the uh, you check the plate with the manifold turbo charge the sum of the manifold the master square with the face for the turbo charge of the two hundredths of an inch of the example of the flange touch of the face for the turbo charge of one to two hundred inch the feel gauge should not enter the dust of the face anywhere around the circle of the tighten the flange cylinder to light tighten the bolt alternate Link from the crisscross of the pattern with the final torque with 100 to 110 pounds of torque. Loosen each bolt, retighten the final torque value. After the engine starts, check all the connections for the exhaust leakage. After a few hours of the operation, retighten all the bolt and connect connections. Exhaust manifold single pipe. The single pipe of the exhaust manifold is used only on all locomotives equipped with the 12 and 16 cylinder the replacement of the main section. The replace the manifold, the main pipe of the section pipe form the following steps. Any main pipe section that may be replaced without removing any weight, water head will carefully clean the elbow joints and part of the expect the next will not be sealed with the seal rings reasonable. One, you unbolt the elbow, clamp the ring for the, on the elbows to tap at the section, remove down the left and right elbow of the section and just above this, uh, this one. Two, remove the cylinder mounting bolt on the two elbow with the attached for the section to remove the, also remove the elbow bolt the, from the cylinder with the just ahead of the section to remove the, remove the elbow. Three, remove the main cap plugs from them with the bolt end for the section to be removed. Four, carefully lift out the section, rotate and clear with the water discharge header. Five, install the new section with the reverse order of name. Be careful to align the section mount with the elbow before the torching main, the elbow clamp right the ring the torque of the main pipe with the clamp the ring both the 70 75 pounds of torque elbow clamp the 18 to 20 pounds of torque retorque all clamp rings on bolts one more after the section replacement replace the transition section replace the transition section proceed as follows one, remove the top six sec, um, socket head bolt for the holding of the turbo in the casing uh, on the tur to the turbo housing to permit the sliding of the transition section straight up. Unbolt the elbow, clamp the ring for the end of the elbows for the cylinder, one right, left and one right. Remove the el elbow. Remove the clamp ring with the forward end of the first main pipe section. Remove the clamp ring bolts for the screw of the transition section of the turbocharger. Uh, figure 9101 shows the uh, single pipe manifold. One is your compound, two is the gloss manifold, three is the head bolt, four is the casket, five is the bed or mounting place, six is the washer, seven is the main section, eight is the seal ring, and is, nine is the enclosure, enclosure and ten is the elbow, the elbow clamp, five, eleven is the left hand elbow, twelve is the right hand elbow, four, thirteen main clamp, four, fourteen hex head bolt, fifteen main gasket, sixteen transition section, seventeen lock washer, eighteen hex head bolt, nineteen cylinder gasket, get nine twenty hex head bolt, twenty one pipe plug. Five, lift the section up of the torque of the left side of the engine, reverse the procedure, then install the new section torque of the manifold, clamping the bolt, 70 to 70 pounds of torque, 70 to 75 pounds of torque with the main fold, the turbo in that clamp bolt, 70 to 75 pounds of torque, the torque, the cylinder exhaust port with the main fold, elbows, 100 to 110 pounds of torque. Retorque all the bolts one month after the section replacement seal the ring for the seal rings between the manifold section and cylinder elbows. Maybe you use that they were dimensional limited shown in figure 9102 with the sealing surface that is not nicked or dented. When installing a seal ring, make sure that the spring wire of the retaining with the side wire of the side toward the cylinder connection with the manifold elbow clearing for the accommodate of the retainer shall be the ring. Be put in the spring retainer toward the main section clearing for the lacking the leak will probably result in figure 9103. The correct application of the seal ring retainer turbocharger general serve the serve several since several different models of the turbocharger, even the general electric diesel engine of the replacement instruction and file that will be included in exclusive. We all inclusive, therefore disregard operations that are not applicable. Figure 9102, seal ring, dimensional limits. All dimensions and interest, 4.68 um, di maximum diameter of 0, um, 3 tenths of 334 hundredths of an inch, um, 27 hundredths of an inch. Surface is important dimension, seal ring, dim dimension, parts. Um, removal of the drain, the locomotive cooling water system, remove the hatch over the curb, all charts for disconnect the current case, remove the exhaust stack with the figure 90107, 107, remove, remove the four aspirator holes, figure 90106, remove the exhaust task on the turbocharger, turbo casing, remove the tanker cooler, support bar, figure 9105. Remove the two compression coupling from the water discharge head, figure 90105. Nigger figure, um, uh, ah! Figure 9103 seal ring retainer correctly applied. Gasket exhaust manifold cylinder elbow retainer seal ring. The elbows have a clearance to accommodate seal ring and retainer. Figure 9104 turbo insulation detail turbo in with the multiple pipe exhaust manifold. They show the clamp bolts and the washer turbo in the flange to the turbo casing manifold flange clamps and exhaust manifold. Disconnect the exhaust manifold with the turbine inlet and assembly and file with the multiple manifold. Remove the bolts and the heat treated washer each for the figure with X105.
I'm sorry, 9104. Turbo 105, 9105, turbo insulation details, turbo in with a single pipe of the exhaust. Transition section manifold, crankcase bay, the water discharge header, inlet support bar, water discharge piping, exhaust stack, compression couple uplink, turbo inlet flange clamp ring, abs, and turbo casing. Um, to figure 9, 106, turbo insulation details, compression ends. The single minor pipe manifold, they remove the bolts and lock washer with the screw of the clamp ring with half of the figure 9, 105, with the turbine and bind inlet flames, remove the clamp ring with the halves, remove the lock wires and four lower the bolts and the washer with the screw of the turbine inlet flame for the turbo casing. Figure 9107, the turbo insulation details compression and the um, air discharge elbow turbo charge the turbo speed probe wire to discharge, discharge pipe the seal air piping from the locomotive the air supply lube oil, lube oil section discharge the lube oil supply with the orifice lube oil pipe headed for the suction pump crankcase breather um, pipe and pipe suction ejector pump turbo mounting, mounting bolts lube oil, lube oil, lube oil gravity discharge pipe and right bank intercooler lube oil suction discharge and left bank intercooler. So remove the two air and air discharge of the figure nine one oh seven. Remove the clamp flexible duct metal air duct with the figure nine one oh six from the crest or amp the turbo driver. Lift the equipment disconnect the continuous uh uh, horsepower, uh, con constant horsepower, excitation control, excitation speed with the pickup of the probe with the thermal box. So figure um ten. Um. Refer to figure 9107 on the disconnect. Remove the external lube oil piping the full in the following order. Lube oil pipe, um, supply pipe at the fore of the forward end of the cover of the turbine casing. Lube oil suction discharge is the pipe of the suction pump at the turbine casing from the turbo that is equipped with the lube oil suction pump. C. Lube oil pipe at the suction pump within the forward end of the cover of the turbo is equipped with the lube oil suction pump. D. Lube oil, oil discharge pipe at the turbo casing and the cover of the discharge together with the suction pump at the forward end of the cover. 11. Disconnect the air seal and the seal of the air pipe in the turbine casing. The the turbo so, so supply with the seal air from the from the locomotive the air supply to remove the four mounting bolts for the lock washer figure nine one oh seven the screw the, the turbo charge with the floor to end the cover. Keep for the lifter and lifting signal with the remove the turbo charge up front for the engine for the slightly rock the turbo charge to add the lift in the frame of the two rear of the feet with them locating the dowels caution exercise with the care of the removing the turbo charge is not the damage to the exhaust manifold. After the position turbocharger on the floor, remove the wire discharge of the retainer and the application of the replacement turbocharger. Remove the continued constant horsepower excitation control um, excitation speed. Pick up the prop of the plate blower and retain with the application of the replacement turbocharger if the turbo was equipped with the probe. See if the turbocharger removed the um, because of the failure of the not prop the periodic replacement. Therefore, examine the turbocharger to determine the cause of the failure. Fail to do the problem the result with the repeat with the failure. The failure would cause was caused with the foreign material with the mandatory. These alterate for the material removed the system that is maybe necessary to remove the clean hug exhaust manifold. Maybe necessary to remove the air filter is clean. The inspect the filter clean the air with the plenum. The inspect the inside of the inlet side of the both the intercooler of the foreign material. Um, D apply protective cover the pipe plug for the opening of the roof of the turbocharger. Apply the new cover the plugs and remove from the replacement turbocharger. E remove the crankcase breather, cover the cleaning um, clean screen assembly. Caution for the turbo charger being replaced with the becomes and become the bearing failure. Check for the cavity for the top of the floor to end with the cover with the screen assembly removed with the make of the turn with the pipe the tape to the hole and fitted with the pipe of the plug filled with the plug with the wheel and with this hole will result with the loss of lube oil supply with the turbocharger bearings. Installation turbocharger being installed with the result of the failure, not to the periodic replacement the correct cause of the failure. But the new gasket black washer installed the turbocharger following manner. From the placement of the turbocharger, remove all the pipe and pipe particular cover the pipe plug with the lube oil with the seal air and let's. Um, if so, equip makes sure the no foreign material for the turbocharger put more some of the clean engine, engine or lube oil with the oil that the near the top of the turbine case for the rotate the rotor with assembly of the several rotations revolutions. Using new gasket assembly with the water discharge of the header with the figure 9105 of the turbo casing, if the equipment with the installing the constant horsepower excitation control excitation speed with the pickup of the probe to check the gap between the over the end of the probe and the outside the diameter of the rotor cap, which must be 28,000 to 9,000, um, 90,000 of an inch of figure 9108. 9108, air inlet valve with the turbocharger. Show the, the um, thick stem, uh, 21, um, 0.21 of an inch thickness stem, boss adapter, blower inlet valve, rotor cap magnets, blower inlet valve, maximum minimum um, magnets, um, 132 in the gasket, shim required, and speed pickup probe. Caution, if the speed pickup of the probe is done, you can apply with the suitable with the cover of the blade part 1, 126 of the X with 1545 over the probe hole, but otherwise harmful, the dirt will be pulled over the turbo through the probe hole delivered into the engine. 
Fly will clean the mounting strip of the forward end with a cup of the derber, der, der, um, deeper with locating locating the dial. They will cooperate with the apply of the light film with the grief to the two dials and short the two new o rings around the water seal openings. Use the suitable lifter lifting sling with the hoist for the relief. The turbo charger clean the deeper of the required with the four mounting feet. Position the turbo charger to line with the two dial holes with the rear feet with the, with the locating dial. Slightly rock the turbo charger while lo lo lowering it to the end of the front end of the cover. Close and exercise care must be installed with the turbo charger to avoid damage with the exhaust manifold. Using new lock washers to assemble the four mounting bolts and using the mounting bolts. A wrench for the set part 147 part X9015 2. Time the bolts to the torque at 115 to 165 pounds of torque. Note when using the mounting bolt wrench for the set part 147 X1952, apply with 93 to 103 pounds of torque over the torque. It is indicated the torque wrench to achieve the 150 to 165 pounds of torque required for the mounting bolts. Hey, watch the blowout with the lube oil pump and piping. Refer to the figure 9107. Assemble the reverse order of the youth and removal. The refer, refer to step 10 with the after the removal of the section. Caution lube oil supply pump pipe must have the orifice flange that is open must be the, the correct side of the rear of the correct lube oil pressure flow with the turbocharger bearing orifice diameter must be in table 5 6. Or show if the engine type, the engine maximum must be the turbo type, the orifice diameter. All right, connect the um, seal air air pipe to the turbo case from the if the turbo seal um, supply with the seal with the local there. If you with the um, connect the constant horsepower excitation can control the excitation speed, pick up the probe with the thermal box, assemble the metal uh, metal air with the compressor and with the turbo charge, assemble the flex dock with the flexible dock with the secure with the two clamp for the figure nine one oh six, assemble the turbo discharge elbow between the turbo charger and interlocking co co coolers and following. A inspect the elbow of the flange pay particular attention to the four lugs and each of the elbow, make sure they are all present, secure with the well and the wells holding them in the elbow are not Correct. Replace the repair for the elbows. The defect with the fuel lugs are fewer than the required four. Check the O rings of the seat with the wear. Do not use the elbows if those seats are worn. Appropriately leak will result. Be installed a two step of the inner, in each inner cooler. You the lock washer under the north stroke of the nice to do 55 to 65 pounds of torque. Apply with the extra nut of the lock washer on each side of the run the nut up to near the side of the locking nut. The lock washer on the outside of the red, rear at ready with the bearing against the elbow lug. C. Screw the two more studs into the turbo end of the bolt flanges. Do not thread the nuts through the flanges. And if this is done, it will be impossible to make the tightening seal between the flanges and the turbo charger. You lock washer under the nuts of the torque to 55 to 65 pounds of torque. Again, apply the extra nut. Lock washer on each of the side, positioning them with the done with the intercoolers. D. Preamble. Repeat some of the two elbows on the flanges. Use the new red O rings. Part 1, 1, 1 115X1902. The M. Do not use the part 115X1268. Black O ring ahead of the intercooler. It will not withstand the high air temperature of the four the plan with the O rings lubricating with the lubricate spray with lube A part 147 um, X1614 reduce the probable O ring damage during the installation. Each slide the turbo flange O ring for the out into the elbow to take no not care, take care um, care not to disturb it, disturb the O ring with the flange group that makes room with the studs into the holes holes in the lugs loose and apply the lock washers enough to the other end of the studs. If apply the elbow with the preassembled flange O ring with the inch of the short of the go and then the turbo longer than one over the cooler position uh, the elbow should enter the into the into the hole squarely. Figure one oh nine show the top of the right hand hand of the turbo air and lobo insulation circled letters and refer to the steps and assembly in sequence. G. Finger tighten the four bolts of the lock washer attaching the turbo end of the flange. Then, um, then the H. The slide flange of the O ring then position against the intercooler and solve the finger tighten the three bolts for the flat narrow washer in that flange. I. Again, for check of the bait with a certain elbow seek, um, squarely position while four step through the respective lugs and tighten the four bolts of the turbo engine flange evenly in crisscross pattern 55 to 60 pounds of torque. J. Torque the um, three bolts of the intercooler flange evenly at 35 to 40 foot pounds of torque. Run the inside out lock washer nuts against the lugs of the um, uh, until the touch um, touch pump pump plus one and a half to two turns the torque of the outside nut three fifty to sixty pounds of torque. These two rinse simultaneously if necessary to keep the stub with the from turning do not bend or distort the lugs during the operation. Connect the exhaust manifold to the turbo inlet assembly as followed. The multiple pipe manifold figure 9104. Use high temperature anti seething thread power compound part and cope the both side with the four noob gaskets. Make sure all the manifold turbo charge and turbo charger bolt threads are clean. The necessary wire brush all the bolt threads with the retap. All the thread ho hold, bolt holes are applied to the high temperature anti seething thread for the compound. All threads bolt and tap holes in washer face bolt heads. Three gasket in place. Assemble all the bolts and harden and wish and finger tie at the center. Each for the main exhaust manifold at the turbo charger between the two securing bolts. And the two prints from prick print punch punch marks on the space for the turbo inlet flange. Alternately, tighten each of the bolt increments up to the final torque of 120 to 130 pounds of torque a foot. Check the fit manifold of the turbo charge. Assemble the manifold flange must be square with the face of the turbo charger at two thousandths of an inch. For the example, the manifold flange touches 
Um, the face of the turbocharger at one point, the 200 of the inch field gauge should not be entered with the joint face anywhere around the circumference. Uh, figure 9, 110, the elbow partially preassembled, the side must be protruded, I have a protrude here, and the apply lubricant. For single manifold, figure 9, 105. Assemble the four level of the bolt washer with which give the turbo inlet flange with the turbo casing the turbo with bolts with one twenty to one hundred thirty pounds of torque lock wire pipe pairs. Make sure all the manifold turbo charge bolts have threads are clean and missing necessary with the brush for the bolts and threads retap all the thread holes apply high temperature anti you see threads and compound part one forty seven X sixteen forty all threads for the bolt tap the holes of the washer face for the bolt heads. With a new gasket installed with the groove of the turbine into the flange assembly, lower the clamp ring in half the screw of the bolt with a new lock washer finger tight with the joint line with the clamp ring which should be near the horizontal. Some of the top clamp of the ring in half with the screw with the bolt with the new lock washer after equalizing the gap the joint line with the alternately tighten all the bolts up to the final torque at seventy seventy five put down the torque. 14. Use the new gas to assemble the two compression coupling with the water discharge header for the figure 9105. Assemble the intercooler support bar, fig, bar figure 9105. Install the sack of the screw with the bolt and the lock washer torque and bolt to 50 to 60 pounds of torque. It's connected with the crankcase breather pipe with the crankcase breather the sack of the assembly with the connecting four aspirator hose the figure 9106. Real assemble the hatch over the turbocharger. 19. Fill the cooling water system properly treated with the heated water. Operational checks after the turbocharger has been performed and uh, has, work has been performed. The engine is running. Listen near the turbocharger near the exhaust stack for unusual noises such as parts rubbing. If possible, load the engine observe the turbocharger performing in its function. This will evident the indication of the pressure of the turbocharger air pressure gauge. Check the installed turbocharger for the water, oil, and air exhaust leaks are incorrect if found and that was the um second part of the section nine diesel engine um the dash series nine diesel engine of section nine